Today I want to show you uh, learning with text, uh, how you can use this for yourself at home and how you can install it uh, using a set of Docker containers that I create. Now first let me just show you around learning with text. This is basically my installation uh, that I use at home <coughs> and currently it's using French, um, but I've input Chinese, French and Italian. Uh, if I want to use this in French, for example, I just click read. It takes me to a chapter of a book that I have previously imported. And it shows, scroll down a bit, words that I know in various colors. The colors are basically uh, how well you think you know it based on when you clicked it. So. Um, Basically, to look up a new word, you click on the blue one, so this is an unknown term. It'll look it up in one of the three defined dictionaries, so you can define these dictionaries yourself, one, two, and three, or Google Translate here. Uh, then basically, you can look in this frame at what this means, and here it means to move. So I can put to move, and then how well I know this. Well, I actually know this word pretty well already, so I'm going to make that a four, and then I click Save. And you can see that over here, this has now changed this to a yellow color. And basically, as you read through the book, you simply click the words that you don't know, you look them up, and you define the term. Afterward, you can simply hover your mouse over each word and it will give you the translation. So you can just read along, uh, and if you've forgotten anything, then you just hover over it and then review it. Uh, you can have pretty much an infinite number of languages, and it'll do import of text, and it'll break it into uh, bits and pieces. So if you've got a long bunch of text, you can do a long text import, search for the file, and just import it in browse find the file and import it um, you can also do other languages it understands um, various scripts so for example i have chinese and i can look at my text and start again with this one and again if you hover over each of the characters it will tell you what it means now um, it'll also show you statistically how much you know of each of the words so there's in this one 257 words slash characters and there's 181 unknowns in that area so learning with text is a very good way to read and reinforce your language you can also uh, export these terms to uh, Anki and to do other things. So it's a very comprehensive um, program and very useful to have, and it's open source and free. Now, to install this, uh, I have created, uh, you can just download it if you want uh, from SourceForge, but the problem here is if you download it directly, then you're going to need to install some form of web server or web services onto your um, machine in order to use this. Now, I have created Docker files, which will allow you to basically install the full web server and database on a, on a machine, but it'll do it on your behalf. You don't actually have to um, create any of this or install the web services yourself. It's just self-contained within a Docker file. Now, you can download Docker for Windows, Macintosh, um, or Linux. Uh, I believe there's probably some other um, system supported. I will try today to show you how to install uh, the system onto uh, a laptop using the Windows machine. Uh, obviously the version I'm using here is on a 
a Linux server that I set up using the Docker, but this does use the Docker instance, um, and it created the web server and the um, database all for itself. So let me just try and explain how to do this yourself. The first thing you're going to need is, uh, well, I've actually given you instructions here. And my, if you go to my page, which I'll put the links in below, but if you go to my LWT underscore Docker in GitHub, I've got the instructions here. You basically install Docker for your operating system. And in this example, I'm going to do the Windows one, which I've already downloaded and click setup. Then I, you download the Docker files in this repository. You just need these two files. So you can just click download and download the zip file. Then you're going to need the uh, actual learning with text program which you can download from SourceForge. I'll give you the link here. So you just download that. I think it's a zip file as well. And then you create a subdirectory in the location where you're going to run your Docker files called LWT underscore HTML. You put the two files that you downloaded from here into there. Um, and then you run this command, docker compose build lwt docker compose up lwt. Um, and then you can access your website on the local host. Um, this assumes that you're just installing it on a laptop or a local machine. Obviously, because I've done this on a server, uh, I can access it anywhere in my house, but obviously you would be able to do the same thing. Uh, I also have accessed this via my telephone while sitting at home. Okay, so after the installation of Docker for Windows, you have to reboot your machine. And another thing you're going to need is for your CPU to be able to do virtual machines. Uh, if you have an older machine it's probably not going to be able to do it but if you have anything that was purchased in the last four or five years uh, you'll probably be fine uh, most newer cpus support uh, this type of thing so it's not a problem now um, let me just see if i can get rid of this Okay, so once you have uh, downloaded the appropriate files, here you can see that I've got my Docker Compose file, my Docker file uh, from the GitHub source that I showed you earlier, and I have LWT underscore HTML. Uh, so if we go into that, oh, into there, You can see that I have unzipped all of the LWT package into here. So this is all the source code for LWT. Now, in order to run the Docker Compose system, I just need to do Docker Compose uh, build LWT. Now what this does is it looks in the Docker files, it sees that I need to have an Apache web server, it starts to download the Apache web server and all of the modules that I included when I wrote the Docker Compose file. So it is picking out all of the PHP libraries, all of the websites, services, and things that you need to run the actual um, Docker instance of LWT, then what it's going to do is it will then create a web server and it will move all of the um, files that were in the source code for the uh, LWT learning with text source code. And it will put that into the Docker's uh, web directory. 
and then that is what you will see running. Now, you can see here that what it's done is it's got the packages, it's running the various packages, and it's now installing and upgrading things. So it's still going through this. It's literally building a web server um, to use. Then the next thing it's going to need to do is it's going to need to get all of the database files that it needs to run the MySQL database. Now you can see that it's, it's gathering the MySQL clients and various other things. And now it's looking to run the MySQL installation. So here it's now going away and building all of the things it needs in order to run the system and the software. Now this can take quite a while uh, when you start from scratch. But basically once you've built it, then the only thing you need to do is rerun the same command again with up rather than build. And then that will run your web server. So now we just run the same command with up instead of build and minus D to run it in the background. <coughs> it must be a Unix only thing. Now here it's creating the MySQL database that is going to have the LWT system installed on it. The things you saw earlier for the database, the things it was building was for the website to be able to access a database. Okay, now we should be able to see on my local host an instance of this. So let me just switch over to a web browser. Okay, so the part of the problem that you see here is that we've got an incorrect file in our PHP. Now this is a relatively straightforward thing to fix. Uh, it's just that this file hasn't been included. And the file that it actually wants to see is the database information for the file server. So let me just get a hold of one of those and stick it in the folder and then we should see this working. In addition, I'll add this particular uh, connection example to my GitHub uh, source code so that you can download an example online. Okay, so uh, we had the problem earlier where we had this uh, issue with the connection. So I'm going to press Control C to stop this and show you that I've actually copied one of these files, the connect files in. Um, to there, this directory, and basically all it has is the connection details for the database. Um, so I've output this here so that you can see all it's actually doing is it's looking at a server called DB and the user ID and password and the database name LWT. Now, you don't need a great deal of security because this is only run on this machine when your Docker instance is running, so uh, it's not a, a massive problem. But you can change these, obviously, uh, to whatever you please. But remember, if you do do that, you have to edit the Docker file 
which uh, is expecting these values. So let's bring this back up again. And it started the Docker DB and it started the LWT. Oops, uh, hang on before we do that. I need to copy the file. Um, and try again. Now we might have to rebuild this, but we'll 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 see in a second. So let's try this again. And there we go. So we're now in with the learning with text. So uh, I'll add the example connect into the uh, GitHub archive just so you're aware of how it works. Um, now, what is because the database is basically empty, you can either put in a demo, which gives you all of the settings for about six or eight different languages and some examples text. So you might want to do that if it's your first time. If you've been using this before, then you might just want to go straight in and define your language and settings. But that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all you need really to uh, install the program and I hope this helps. Thanks a lot.